Well, welcome again to my uh, Saturn project. This segment of the program is going to be about the, uh, resto the painting vinyl. And there's two main choices to that. One of them is the Rust-Oleum 2X. This is a new product for them that supposedly works on plastic. <clears throat> your other option, which has been around for a while, is your Duplicolor vinyl and uh, carpet spray. And uh, even though I was washing the vinyl thoroughly with the tar and wax remover, I was still was noticing that there was some uh, sticking issues and flaking issues. Now, the Duplicolor especially didn't bond very well at all. It would tend to curdle and flake off. And I finally, believe it or not, after I did most of the painting already, finally figured out that the biggest problem was that all the parts were treated at one time or another with this Armor All Vinyl, you know, Enhancer. Now this stuff, as it advertises, I think does penetrate the vinyl to make it shine a little bit better. And as such, it's in there to the point where washing it or trying to wash it off it doesn't work. The only solution uh, I've come up with is to sand it. And I'll show you uh, what I'm going to do with this next part of the painting in that regard. You can use, I've, I've used a 200 grit, uh, I think I'm going to go to a 500 grit for this cleaning portion. But let me show you what this next project is, which is the dashboard. Okay, here's the first look at our dashboard problem. And uh, just the uh, cursorily looking at it, you can see probably the biggest problem is going to be how are we going to tape this thing off so we don't end up spraying all over the window and getting tape down there in that. Uh, groove to the front side is going to be a real challenge. So I've come up with a couple of other ideas about it, but first thing we're going to do is sand this thing down because you can actually feel how the armor all is still slick and I've washed and scrubbed, even though I've washed and scrubbed this dashboard with a wax remover, it still feels that way. So to get a good bond with it, we're going to try to do some sanding on it first. I'm not going to show you the whole process, but uh, stage after stage kind of a thing. Okay, now we're at the phase two of the, the dashboard project, and you can see that uh, my idea was to use flashing uh, at the end of the board where the uh, dashboard where it ends, hits the uh, window, and it actually worked out pretty well, I think. Yeah, I cut it into one foot pieces and slipped it all in. The other option would be to having to shape it, which is not really what I want to do. The uh, sanding it ended up to go with a, a 200 grit wet sand. The 500 grit just didn't seem to be enough to uh, score it all that well. But uh, this definitely makes it a lot easier for taping up. We're going to be taping and plastic, putting plastic up over the windshield to protect uh, the rest of the car from the overspray. That'll be next. Well there you have it. A Rust-Oleum 2X flat black dashboard. Uh, the flashing out worked out really well. The only problem I had was some uh, overspray stuff on the very seam up there by the windshield, but overall it came out pretty well. I thought I'd close this uh, part of the project uh, with some insights on the uh, Rust-Oleum products and application. It might be unique to 2X, but it's probably unique to most all your uh, spray can paints. Um, the issue is drying time and curing time. In talking to Rust-Oleum, the curing time for uh, the Rust-Oleum products is five days. 
<clears throat> now it's uh, usually touchable after about 20 minutes and uh, handleable after about 40 minutes, but uh, that doesn't mean it's dry by any means. Uh, they also recommended if you were going to put a, a uh, clear coat, for instance, over the product that you do it uh, very quickly uh, within the 20 minutes of application so that they blend really well. Uh, my experience is that doesn't work. Um, in fact, uh, you have an hour window to do touch-ups and on these plastic things the, it, it doesn't really work quite like metals. It, you might have an area where it looks like it's covered, it starts to dry and then it kind of moves away from some of the moundy areas. You have an hour to do a touch-up on that. After an hour, you have three days to let that thing cure before you can do any kind of a touch-up on it. If you don't wait for it to harden, then you'll get uh, crinklings, uh, separations, and all kinds of weird things as the paint, uh, apparently the new paint interacts with the paint that's already on there. So. I would say that if you want to put a clear coat on, on a Rust-Oleum product, you could do it after the three days. But uh, another thing to note about that is Rust-Oleum clears are a soft clear. They're not a hard clear. They're not like automotive clears in that you cannot use a real fine sandpaper to smooth them out and then buff them. They don't buff. So they're really designed if you have a metal that you want to just cover with uh, some kind of a clear protected coat that's it it's not really for a automotive buff type of shine so that's it for my dashboard 2x and uh, I have some other trims I'm gonna do and I'll probably do a little piece on that as well thank you for watching I thought I'd close this uh, part of the project uh, with some insights on the uh, Rust-Oleum products and application. It might be unique to 2X, but it's probably unique to most all your uh, spray can paints. Um, the issue is drying time and curing time. In talking to Rust-Oleum, the curing time for uh, the Rust-Oleum products is five days. Now, it's uh, usually touchable after about 20 minutes and uh, handleable after about 40 minutes, but uh, that doesn't mean it's dry by any means. Uh, they also recommended if you were going to put a, a uh, clear coat, for instance, over the product that you do it uh, very quickly uh, within the 20 minutes of application so that they blend really well. Uh, my experience is that doesn't work. Um, in fact, uh, you have an hour window to do touch-ups and on these plastic things the, it, it doesn't really work quite like metals. It, you might have an area where it looks like it's covered, it starts to dry and then it kind of moves away from some of the moundy areas. You have an hour to do a touch-up on that. After an hour, you have three days to let that thing cure before you can do any kind of a touch-up on it. If you don't wait for it to harden, then you'll get uh, crinklings, uh, separations, and all kinds of weird things as the paint, uh, apparently the new paint interacts with the paint that's already on there. So. I would say that if you want to put a clear coat on, on a Rust-Oleum product, you could do it after the three days. But uh, another thing to note about that is Rust-Oleum clears are a soft clear. They're not a hard clear. They're not like automotive clears in that you cannot use a real fine sandpaper to smooth them out and then buff them. They don't buff. So they're really designed if you have a metal that you want to just cover with uh, some kind of a clear protected coat that's it it's not really for a automotive buff type of shine so that's it for my dashboard 2x and uh, I have some other trims I'm gonna do and I'll 
probably do a little piece on that as well.